yep, my mind's blown, and the one word I can say about Avengers Infinity War is HOLY F- What's up guys, welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm talking about Avengers Infinity War. It is finally upon us, Avengers Infinity War, a film that a ton of us have been waiting for for 10 years now, technically since Iron Man came out, and even longer than that if you were into the Infinity War comics. You know, this is what a lot of people have been waiting for, and man, let me tell you, the hype is there and it exceeds it at least it did for me but before i get further into this review what i do want to say is for new people or people who have been watching me is this is a non-spoiler review i am not going into this one because thanos demands his silence two because this is a film that you do not want to be spoiled on if you comment down below and spoil anything i'm going to delete your comment down below is for us to just talk about your excitement and whatnot, so make sure to comment down below and tell me how excited you are for Avengers Infinity War, or maybe if you got to see it already, I want to hear what your guys' thoughts were. But this is what I'm saying. No spoilers. Thanos demands his silence. He told me that specifically. That's why he landed me the gauntlet for a bit. And I just want to let you guys know that. So... Let's talk about Avengers Infinity War. I don't even know where to start with this film, so this review is going to be very jumbled. Overall... It met my expectations. It honestly even exceeded them. And the more, as I was driving home with my friend, the more I just kept thinking about this film, I just kept getting more uppity and hyped up about it. Because there's so many scenarios in here, so many surprises in this film that I did not see coming from a mile away that shocked me, that gave me goosebumps, that made me scream of excitement and geekism. And also, there's moments in here that make you tear up with happiness, with sadness, and excitement. But I think there's two things that a lot of you guys are wondering. One being, where's Hawkeye? Not going to talk about it. But number two is, is Thanos a good villain? You know, this is the villain, you know, MCU's had a problem with a lot of villains, you know, a lot of them not meeting expectations. Killmonger, Loki, Vulture were kind of some of the few that really broke the mold and were a good villain. But how is Thanos? You know, we've been waiting to see how he is after seeing him in the first Avengers film. And I'll say this, Thanos is the main character of this film. He is really the main character of this film. He got more screen time than I think anyone else. And that's sort of a risk for our studio to take, but in the end, it actually works out. And in the end, you actually kind of understand Thanos' ways, and it really worked. I actually got engrossed into seeing Thanos. Loved what Josh Brolin brought to this performance. I think he was great as Thanos. He is the perfect choice for Thanos. And I was overall very happy with Thanos. And I think a lot of you guys will be too. I'll even say this. He probably is the best villain in the MCU. The amount of depth that they gave him in this film was brilliant. And like I said, you actually come to care about Thanos to a certain level, or at least understand why he is doing these ways. Because it made me understand. A lot of the reasons is you're like, okay, I get it, dude. I understand why you're doing this. He's a very imposing force. I mean, you figure this out within the first 20 minutes, maybe even less than that. You figure out that, yeah, Thanos is here and he ain't here to play. He's here to get those stones. And that's really what the whole story revolves around per se. And the journey to get these infinity stones, well, it's it's an engaging one. It's a very edge of your seat. Once the film starts, it does not let go and it's just a total non-stop ride the whole entire time. I don't think there was a single moment to breathe in this film because the stakes are high. And I think that's one of the biggest things is that the stakes are high and they are felt throughout this whole entire film. I'm not going to say if deaths happen or why the stakes are felt, but you do feel the stakes within this film. And that's something strong that I don't think any other MCU film has really carried. But I can't tell you about the amount of times that, like I said, I geeked out a bunch in this film. But the amount of times that I got goosebumps through my body, I got shivers down my spine. This, a lot of people I think will actually go and say that this is the Empire Strikes Back of the MCU. Those are some strong words considering The Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars film, but I mean it. This is The Empire Strikes Back of the MCU. Each and every one of our characters finally getting to see all these characters come together is something of greatness. You know, we finally get some great teammates because the way that they actually put the story into is you actually get formulated different groups into here. So you got Iron Man with Spider-Man with Doctor Strange and some of the Guardians members and you have Thor with some of the other Guardians members, Cap with Black Panther and Bucky and so on and so forth. And I thought that was a really engaging idea. It's really a, a little risk because they took that risk with Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and it didn't work out in its total 
total favor for everyone. I, I thought it was fine. But I thought what they did well is that they gave each group a story in a manner that actually worked for the whole entire story overall, and it made a point of reference to actually work. So for all these stories going around, there wasn't one story where it was like, okay, you jump to this story, but I want to go see what this story is doing. No, you actually are entitled when you're watching this one story you're like okay well i wonder what they're doing then it jumps back to them and that's it's a very unique way of telling a story and i really engaged with that and i i have to give full props to the directors and the writers and all deciding on who goes with what group and really seeing the dynamics between the groups are great you got a little bit of the tidbits in the trailers but the trailers don't show anything the amount of group sharing the amount of emotion the amount of dialogue the great banter between all these characters was wonderful and i can't wait to see what they bring into the next avengers film considering that who makes it to the next Avengers film? That's the big question. But considering that we're going to get more of that banter, you know, I've always liked when they do those crossover events when we get those banters with people that we've never seen before. Like I mentioned earlier in my review, this film is a non-stop ride the whole entire time. This film has probably the most action I've ever seen in an MCU film, which some people might think is a con because there isn't a lot of levity. There isn't a lot of, okay, time to breathe. No, there's a lot of moments of, okay, we got to get it. We got to get going. We got to finish this stuff. And it really, like I said, it gives you the stakes, it gives you the emotion, and it grips you the whole entire time. I think overall, I can't imagine someone going in this film and feeling disappointed. There are so many fantastic moments in here, and the fact that I'm going to have to wait a whole nother year to see what happens after this film, because the ending of this film is brilliant. It is brilliant and one of the best endings I've ever seen in a film. With a fantastic villain within the Thanos, all of our heroes coming back to really formulate into these different groups, different dynamics going on, great banter, great action, great teamwork in there. I know I, that's one of my favorite things to see is when they actually work together and use their moves together is great. There's some great things that you would never expect to see in a film, but it awesomely works, and some great, awesome surprises in here that I am so happy with. I'm overall really ecstatic about this film. I love the Black Order, Thanos' little children that are in here. I think they were great. The CGI is wonderful. Thanos looks real. So do his minions. They looked really good. His army are the, these savage dogs. They are just terrifying. And I don't know what else I can say about Avengers Infinity War. Just wow. My mind is seriously blown, and I cannot wait to go see this film again easily in the top five MCU films. Maybe one of the best. I'm going to have to see it again to really decide on that. I overall am ecstatic about how great this film was, and I cannot wait to hear what your guys' thoughts are and what your reaction is to Avengers Infinity War. For nitpicks wise, I really have to dig deep for nitpicks, and the more I think about this film, the more I actually really enjoy it. If I have any problems with this film, and this is me like reaching for one that I think some people might have an issue with, is the fact that it does feel like a part one, but at the same time, you're also very satisfied with the film. It's a little weird to say that. I don't, I just feel like some people might have that issue with it. I don't for sure. I think this was a satisfying film, and it really ended in a mark that it's like, I don't know where it's gonna go next, but I can't wait to see it. With all that said, I'm gonna give Avengers Infinity War an A. It is now my favorite film of this year. I know I just saw Ready Player One and said that was my favorite film this year, but. Avengers topped it. I assumed it would, and it, it broke it, all the records. It's going to break a ton of records this weekend, and I, again, I can't wait to talk with you guys about this film. I can't wait to you guys see it so I can spoil it, because it's holding these secrets within me. I can't imagine all these stars holding all these secrets, all these writers and producers. It, it's tough to hold those secrets, but really, overall, a fantastic story told here, a fantastic action sequences put out here, and some of the best in the MCU, and overall, just, I'm ecstatic mind blown. Tell me guys, uh, please comment down below. I already mentioned this, but I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. What your guys, what are you expecting? Are you excited for this? And again, no spoilers. If you comment a spoiler, it's getting deleted. I don't care. I'm not answering any spoilers questions, but of course guys, seriously, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you're new, make sure to look out for a ton of other Marvel content this week. I'm going to be going all the way up till Saturday. So that's going to be a ton of fun for you guys. You guys are seriously all the best. If you guys want to talk more geeky culture, go hit up all my social media links. And if you also want to get into advanced movie screens, check out other movie news and movie reviews, go check out Sandwich on Films down below because without them, I wouldn't be here, you guys wouldn't be here, and we wouldn't be talking about Avengers Infinity War. So until next time, stay classy guys, and remember, hashtag Thanos demands his silence. Oh, and one more thing guys, forgot to tell you guys, make sure to stay after the credits, just like you stayed after this review, because there's something special after the credits, and I might have freaked out a bit too much about it.
But until next time, stay classy.